Hello everyone, you are welcome to my channel. I'm actually very shy. This is the first time showing my face here. You're welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like you guys to cook with me. I'll be making chicken and plantain pepper soup, especially for a nursing mother. My friend just put to bed and I'll be going to visit her. So I'm making this chicken pepper soup. I would like you guys to cook alongside me. As we just if but if you have not subscribed to my channel, please just hit the subscribe button. We'll be making more delicious recipes together. Let's get started. Let me show you the ingredients. So here are some of the ingredients I'll be using. This is Oda, also known as Negro pepper. So let me show you guys how it is. This is how it looks like. This is my pepper soup spice this is my red onion I'll be using only one seasoning cube for this recipe this is ozoza we call it ozoza it's also known as African black pepper this is controlled onion this controlled onion I'll be using fresh pepper I'm using live chicken for this recipe <laughs> you know the taste of the uh, chicken the live one is more tastier than the normal frozen ones you get this is adjunct PC it's complete we have all the roots on the back of the tree with it this adjunct PC is still retired I don't know the English name just called Adam Bisse and it's very good for a woman who just put to bed. I'll be writing down the importance of all these ingredients in the caption below. So I'll be using and um, these otters leaves. So we'll be using it. So for us to start, we'll have to wash this together. I'll be showing you how to wash it. I'm not going to untie it, we are going to wash it as it is still tied so we'll be washing this in the running water like i said earlier i won't untie it just remove the sand and the dust that comes with it So if anyone accidentally comes out, you just put it back. Just remove the dust, the dirt. Now on the last one, I will now be adding salt to work to just rinse it off actually. So I think we are okay with the washing. So it's still very tight. I didn't open it up. So this is time for us to start the cooking proper. So this is my pot. See our adjunct piece. Just place it in the pot. Pour enough water to cover it. Pour enough water to cover it. Get more water. This is okay. So I will cover this up and allow it to boil. Why? I'll be blending the control onion, the uzuza seed, and the odor. I'll be blending them together, but I'll be doing this off camera. So as our Ajun Bise is boiling. I will be sharing with you one of the challenges I had as a first time mom and I know a lot of first time moms are going through the same. Dry pepper to add to a, a very hot and spicy. Is it? 
how the water is. It's like when you pour your tea back. We are not going to discard this adjunct safe. You still have to keep it properly. You can use and prepare another one for up to three to four times before you can actually discard it. I just want to show you how the water is. It has given us the nature things. It's time for us to prepare the food proper. The first thing I'll be adding to our loopy is my pepper soup spice, followed with one seasoning cube. If my mom should be watching this video now, she'll be fanning at me using seasoning cube to prepare food for a nursing mother. But that is a story for another day. Okay, for this size of the soup we are preparing, if you add the ozoza or other too much, it's going to make the baby soup very bitter. So you just need to add little quantity of it. I'll be pouring the way. So, unfortunately, it's actually a new coat. <laughs> I roughly blended the peppers. percent ready so this is the time for me to add in the on ripe plantain let it go Chicken and plantain pepper soup is almost ready. So I'll be pouring in crayfish. I didn't show it when I was showing the list of ingredients initially. But we need crayfish. It just gives it a very good taste. The aroma coming from this food has filled the whole of my neighborhood. While growing up, is this kind of aroma we used to know when our neighbor just put to bed? This smells so good. I'm going to add this. It has reached a pretty strong. Is one of the best gifts you can give to any nursing mother. 
this is very medicinal. This will help to clean the uterus, it helps pump sufficient breast milk, and it helps the uterine muscles to contrast back. And it is achieved with all these ingredients we use in preparing this recipe. And you can actually also take this so far as you are not pregnant. It is good for you too. And for the Arjun Bise, it is a very good herb from a town in Imo State, Nigeria. It helps to cleanse the womb from any postnatal remains and it does not affect the baby in any way. Because of the ingredients we use.